Hey guys, Jeffrey Howells, Carpet Cleaning. So we're inside the home of uh, where we're going to be cleaning today. Um, you can see there's a lot of snow outside. In fact, where I currently live, it's uh, probably five to ten times worse than this. So I was thinking I was going to have to be throwing on, taking on and off chains to get over here, but we made it. Um, so Courtney, Truman's steamers I wanted to point out because as you got your CRB um, you see how much crud firsthand experience now of how much crud actually comes out of the carpeting with that beast so uh, I am a huge proponent of dry soil removal myself up here isn't so bad so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give an example okay this place I cleaned probably about six months ago so even if the carpets are dirty and have spots on them as you can see through here a lot of this is uh, wicking and stuff because um, when you're dealing with a dog and urine gets clear down into the the padding or the backing I mean other than just dumping like a, a bucket of of uh, urine stain remover or something like that on there and absolutely soaking the carpets and then extracting and then trying to put fans on them I mean that's really the only solution that we have um, I might do that up here and at one spot but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our Kirby vacuum cleaner here which is an excellent vacuum cleaner and we're gonna pre vacuum this stuff get as much dry debris out of the carpet as possible and we are going to clean everything up using only our CRB. Um, there's no debris or junk in the carpet. As you know, the CRB is going to completely emulsify and break down everything that's in the carpeting and it's going to look absolutely beautiful. Um, I really want to try that Revive It encapsulation solution. Um, it looks like great stuff. Um, I want to compare it to the uh, Release It product, which is very similar. The Release It actually has a carpet protection or uh, fiber protection built into it. So um, while you're doing your encapsulation solution, you know, with the CRB and everything, you're more or less uh, putting down a carpet protector at the exact same time. So it's a very cool product. I am not sure if the Release It or the Revive It has that. It looks like it might have some of the same polymers and uh, other things as the uh, Release It or DS2 product does. Um, but all we're going to do is just experiment and learn as we go along because that's really what this game is all about is experimenting. And if you know your basics, even with experimenting you can't go wrong because you're just playing around seeing what works best but a professional can get anything clean anytime anywhere so we're gonna go ahead and pre-vacuum um, I'll show you some of our uh, tough stop spots or problem areas that we will run into there's really only um, maybe one or two in this house that I know that are real bad and uh, it'll probably be at another time that we'll take a bucket of uh, urine stuff and just slosh it into some bad areas that it's way down in the, the backing of the carpet. And that is really the only way to prevent it from wicking is just to completely saturate the area and let that stuff work down deep, eating away at that uh, residue and salts and stuff in the, the pet urine. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue pre-vacuum everything. Alright, so we've just uh, pre-vacuumed everything and we are back upstairs. And what I'm going to do is I got all of our equipment up here, our CRB. Um, this one has seen its days. I mean, this is probably five years old, I'm guessing. I'm not sure. So it's a little beat up and worn. Um, it has blue brushes. It seems like the, some of the newer ones have like a brown, um, which course or a beige maybe that corresponds with the uh, the, the scrubbers that you can get for the uh, you know the floor machines. So uh, that's probably the color scheme that they go with. Cause I know they got the blue. I believe that there's a brown and a black. So for whatever reason, this particular master blend when they produce their line of machines did blue brushes 
which I think is equivalent to like the the brown or the the beige if they make beige beige or white. I'm not sure, but they're they're soft. They're not going to cause any damage on the carpeting. Um, they they hardly pull out any carpet fiber at all. Um, if you're seeing some carpet fibers coming up, that's usually due to either cheap carpet or the carpeting has never been cleaned before and there's a lot of loose stuff in there, which I would believe would be a, a health hazard anyways because if it comes out of the, the carpets with just grooming them, you can imagine that you're probably just breathing all that glue and synthetic fibers and nasty stuff and getting it caught in your lungs and that's why people are sick all the time so anyways we're gonna go through I got my spotting kit here um, the biggest place of filtration lines is right here on this wall and in this closet um, that was the only place that they really requested any filtration movement so um, I'll go ahead and do that I mean there's a little bit across this the board border of this room here but it's not bad and part of it is that they're just they sold the house so they're moving out this is moving day so um, they want it to look nice but they're not looking for a super supreme job or anything like that so um, so <clears throat> what I'm doing I call this a clean or I'm sorry a um, sustainable living cleaning package so what we're doing is we're putting down our solution which I've got made up it's in that multi chemical sprayer over there electric sprayer it's very nice because uh, some guys use pump up sprayers um, that's a lot of back breaking work having to keep that that uh, that sprayer pumped up all the time and pressurized um, the other option is to use a hydro force off of your truck um, unless you are setting that hydro force PSI down to like you know maybe a hundred um, I suppose you can you can say that you're pounding it into the carpets and you're getting it really well saturated um, but you're also using twice as much chemical when you're doing that so uh, this machine is probably about 75 psi we lightly do the carpets with our uh, encapsulation solution and then we go ahead and run our CRB in there which is agitating it into the carpeting and grooming it and pulling out all that crud because we put our reservoir our reservoir tanks back on there and it collects any hair and any other debris and sand and gravel that our uh, <coughs> pre vacuumed it pick up um, it's excellent there's all kinds of rubber you'll notice you guys um, you run this machine enough and almost every time you're going to find little rubber bits in your collection reservoirs if you're using it for that purpose and my theory on rubber is that it's bits and pieces of people's shoes breaking off in the carpet that's the only thing that I can come up with um, same way that rubber tires degenerate and fall apart on the road I think that people's shoes break apart in the carpets in their homes and so when you're picking up probably every single job I notice little bits of carpet and um, what I have kind of coined the phrase hybrid carpet cleaning um, of what I will do and you know I started doing this five or six years ago before most guys even knew what a CRB was um, <laughs> heck when I start I probably could have started earlier but I didn't know what a CRB was until like five years into carpet cleaning but anyways uh, what I will do for what I would call like a pet premium package is that I will spray the carpets with our, our clean wall well, pre-vacuum then I'll, I'll pre-spray with encapsulation I'll scrub with this machine it pulls out any matted hair that's in the carpeting unlike anything that traditional steam cleaning even has a chance at doing um, a wand is absolutely terrible for pulling up any animal hair um, <clears throat> And then after I do that, I will then polish everything off with a, a steam cleaning on top of that. And really, what you're getting is the best of both worlds because this machine, theoretically, is getting everything nice and clean. And then your uh, <coughs> steam cleaning is just doing a real good rinse. But in the customer's eye, as far as residential, 
The CRB isn't a very well-known tool at all. In fact, a lot of customers will look at it and be like, what is that? But it's not until you, they actually see what it's doing that, you know, for some people it clicks and makes sense that you need agitation for cleaning the carpets and other people can't wrap their mind around it. So you use it as a tool combined with what you're doing and you charge for it. Um, I probably do 50... Yeah, maybe fifty dollars a room for doing the hybrid carpet cleaning, which includes both the CRB, the uh, I'm sorry, debris extraction, dry extraction with a pre vacuum, CRB, and then finally going back over with a steam cleaning. Um, and then of course, when I do package pricing, I include stupid things like uh, filtration lines and all that. So um, that fifty. $65 buffer whatever you're going to put in there is a per room basis so if they need filtration lines hopefully you've got enough padding there to uh, get the filtration lines out if they don't need filtration lines that's uh, extra padding that's going into your pocket that you can put towards uh, filtration lines in other places so um, <clears throat> and then uh, treating pet stains really isn't much of a problem <laughs> You just need the product, and it's not really that expensive. Um, however, today we are just surface cleaning to get rid of this house, make it look nice. And then if the next owners want me to come back and get rid of this stuff, because I did not come over prepared to do any hot water extraction today. It's it's freezing. My, my van is winterized. I just came over with equipment to do encapsulation cleaning so uh yeah so that's what we're doing so we're gonna start off in the bedroom doing a bit of filtration lines and then i will uh keep you guys posted and show you how we're coming along but i think this place is going to look absolutely awesome by the time we're done with uh encapsulation cleaning alone and really this stuff is cliche as it is it will blow your mind um, i mean i mean i know everybody uses that as a catchphrase for their blogs and titles and everything but uh, this is literally something that will absolutely blow your mind, both as a, a customer and as an owner-operated carpet cleaner. You'll be able to realize that you can just up the ante when it comes to uh, um, quality of service that you're able to provide to your customers. All right, so the job that we did on the filtration lines isn't 100 PCT, but... Um, some of it is just caused by shadowing and stuff because this is a closet so it doesn't get very good light anyways but you can see we went through there um, I've got this filtration line product by a Prochem filter out um, as you can see filtration stuff is just dirt it's pretty nasty actually so um, my strategy hold on a second and I'll show you what I do is that I will uh, take a terry cloth towel and roll it up like that and then apply our uh, filter out or whatever we're using even a, a potent encapsulation cleaner works and you get that wet with the product and then you take it and you just keep scrubbing it along the walls in fact the more times you go over it the cleaner and lighter it will become um, Carpet that's tucked down in the corners, you're seeing part of the corner of the wall down there, so that makes it, you know, cast a shadow and look dark down there. Um, I'll probably go over it one more time with a clean rag just to uh, finish pulling some of that nasty stuff out. Alright, I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of what we were able to accomplish with our CRB. As you can look, the carpets look absolutely beautiful. Um, this was our triple spot up here with a bunch of urine. As you can see, we pretty much scrubbed it all out. Um, if it gets wet, it probably will resurface, but that's on the dime of the next owner. We're just cleaning up real quick to to sell this place. Um, I love the way uh, the results of the CRB. I mean, in fact, if you were to compare it side by side with a uh, steam cleaning, there's a good chance you're probably not going to be able to tell the difference. Um, However, again, it's a sustainable living. I do this in situations where uh, the place has just been cleaned prior, maybe six months. There's not much soil accumulation. 
I mean, as a professional, you begin to notice things like uh, how long it takes for soil to accumulate in the carpeting um, just from normal wear and coming in. I mean, there's a difference between spills and food and slop on the carpeting and soil that actually builds up beneath the fiber. So you really need to get a, a good balance for both of those types of debris. All right, and here's the trouble area down here. Um, we got a big yarn spot that keeps waking back up, but it's going to completely disappear with our magic eraser, as I like to call it. You won't even see it, so we'll uh, spray this room real quick. Um, one thing I like to point out is that um, I make up like a a triple, let's call it eight times. Uh, concentrate solution so that when we are going over with our CRV there's a little spot that looks like it's not scrubbing out we simply spray our high concentrate on there and it takes care of it real well and it's extremely cost effective so huh? making up a bottle like that probably costs maybe a dollar all right so this basement bedroom turned out beautiful as expected um, in the back corner there, there was some little bit of rust from some of the uh, furniture that was sitting there. But um, our product is pretty good in it. Um, depending on the severity of the rust, you know, a little bit of uh, peroxide stuff will pull rust out, no problem. However, if it's real bad, you really do need uh, a rust remover because you, you get to that whole... Apologize, I got cut off due to a text message. But anyways, oxidizers versus reducers. So uh, typically with uh, oxidization caused by uh, rust, because that's what it is, is oxidization, you'd want to add a reducer to get rid of it. But um, very light rust stains will actually come up with your peroxide stuff. So that's what we did. Everything looks beautiful. Come around. we got Berber carpet in this room here. Um, I'm not sure if it's glued down or not. Um, and this is a basement, it does have a padding. So it's probably just wall to wall Berber without, you know, glue down. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, Berber in itself does not like to get wet. So typically I would bonnet clean something like this. However, we are doing um, encapsulation. We've got a good encapsulation solution. We would use the same solution whether we're doing bonnet cleaning or not. So I'm gonna use this machine. Um, the solution I put down is already eaten away at a lot of this debris that's down here. This, however, is the problem area right here. Do a little before and after. Be prepared to be blown away. Alright, I just completed our job and I, uh, actually these stairways, if they look dirty, they probably are because we just vacuumed them. They didn't really want them cleaned. But as you can see, down here, this was the major problem area, and looks much, much, much better. Um, probably a little bit of damage, but you know, just from where. Um, if we extracted it, we might get it to look a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure if the bonnet would do any better than that. I um, didn't pull the bonnet machine down here. Um, that beast is about 80 pounds or more but anyways if we had to I could have but uh, I really wanted to stress test that uh, encapsulation machine out or the CRV and you can see it did a pretty fantastic job all these spots are uh, pretty much scrubbed out for now <coughs> again that's what encapsulation does it's an extremely good surface cleaner pulling out spots and uh, yeah, I think that'll do it. Oh, I also wanted to uh, point out the the debris we were able to pull out of the carpeting on this particular job. So we had a couple rooms upstairs, hallway, and we had a couple rooms downstairs on the main level, and then we had a bedroom and some other sort of a adjacent room on there that we've cleaned all together. And... Uh, the kind of crud that it pretty much pulls out of the carpets. You can see it in there. Here, let me uh, 
Let me put it on pause. There we go. I emptied out our collection reservoir, and that's the stuff that it pulls out. It's just a nasty mat of hair and crap and all sorts of stuff. So um, if your machine is pulling out more carpet fuzz, it's either because you have the wrong brushes on it or um, they're still a little harsh and they just need to be worn. <laughs> excuse me, worn in a little bit more. Um, but really, you're just really wanting just to pick the crud out of the carpet, not necessarily the fibers themselves, um, um, just because that indicates, you know, um, aggressive agitation at that point. So there you have it, and you can see all that crud that's in the, the canister there, the reservoir. You can see it in there. I mean, that's like the little gunk of sand and chunks of rubber that it pulls up out of the carpeting so that's, I think that's pretty cool so that was 100% encapsulation you guys I hope you enjoyed today's video and until next time keep it safe keep it clean and be a rock star